Hey everyone, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Xron Shooter. Uh, it's the ROM for the Evo 3D from Team Xron. Um, and as you can see here, it's got a pretty basic uh, feel. Um, really well done, just nice uh, stock feel to it uh, with a few other things added in. Um, we have this background, uh, you can see right there, wallpaper right there in the background um, right off the bat. It's got a cool boot animation that I'll go ahead and show you at the end of the um, at the end of the video. Uh, but it's got a lot of a lot of other things added, a bunch of cool little uh, cool apps um, that most people use. Uh, but we have them built right into the end of the ROM. Um, go ahead and show you those. Uh, we got ADB Wireless, uh, an app called Archidroid, Astro, as well as ES File Explorer, uh, Dropbox, Google Plus. We have Netflix in there. Um, QQ player, which is uh, a video player, uh, Polaris, Skype, SoundHound. Uh, we still have the Sprint uh, apps in here, but you can get rid of those if you'd like. Um, we have an app right here to keep keep track of what all Team Xron is doing. Um, Titanium Backup, sure everyone uses that. Uh, Torrent Downloader, Twitter, Wi-Fi Tether, as well as Hotspot if you want to use the native one. Uh, X XDA. Uh, we also have the GTalk app with uh, video in here, um, and a few other ones, uh, terminal emulator there. Uh, so as you can see, we got a lot of useful apps in here. But if you don't want, if you don't want any of any of them, you can remove them pretty easily uh, um, right off the phone. Um, we got a few visual things, not too much. As I showed you, we had the uh, this background uh, down here. Um, we have 3D home screen built in, so you've if you want to turn that on in display settings. Uh, also on the lock screen we have a new lock ring that they've added. As you can see here, it's got this drag in here. Um, if you drag down from the uh, one of the icons, it'll show uh, a little Android in there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just drag in messages. As you can see, got the Andy Android right there. Drop it through. Um, just a few visual things as well as the uh, Sprint Lovers ROM uh, icons. So you can see we got the uh, the graphical icons right here at the top for uh, um, the network, uh, battery, GPS, etc. Um, for performance, uh, that's one of the things I like best about this ROM. They put a lot of focus on that. Um, not so much uh, focusing on adding a bunch of flair to it, but just making it a really good running ROM. A lot of people um, have made this one their uh, daily driver ROM. A lot of people think it's the best ROM available right now and it's definitely uh, a quick uh, little ROM. Uh, we have everything zip aligned, um, some memory speed tweaks, uh, we have the GPS lock uh, speed fix in here, some animation tweaks, uh, increased Wi-Fi scan length, um, the kernel's been uh, modified a bit, but it's pretty much a stock kernel, but it runs a lot better, uh, as well as um, dual C, uh, the dual-core um, utilization in here. Uh, so a lot of good um, improvements that you'll uh, definitely be able to tell when you're using this ROM. Almost don't even need to overclock it. This phone runs really well with it, um, so you don't have to uh, overclock it and decrease your battery life. It does pretty well. Um, and then just a few other things. It has uh, the native screen capture built in. Uh, we have panoramic and HDR options in the camera. We have 4-in-1 reboot and uh, this ROM does come with the beat sound um, functionality so you can use all of that. Um, another thing, uh, if we pull in not notifications bar you can see it's transparent there. Um, but If I go to the quick settings there are just a few little uh, things added here. Uh, we have wireless ADB option right here if you want to do if you uh, have use for that. I thought that was nice. Have that right there in the quick settings. Flashlight up here, and then you see this option down at the bottom. We just have a quick restart uh, at the bottom that you can use right there. And then just to finish it off, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, uh, the boot animation because I think it, think it's pretty nice. Um, they've done a good job with that. Just go ahead and restart this. Um, and uh, show you guys that. Um, but like I said, it's a great ROM. Um, 
Still has the stock feel with a few other goodies, uh, but main, uh, mainly it just runs really, really well. So if you want uh, a ROM that you can just depend on to uh, run great all the time, uh, this is definitely a good choice. So you should um, definitely try it out if you haven't uh, haven't yet. Just wait a few mm -hmm. seconds to uh, get the boot screen or the boot animation on here. And there you go, you see the Boots audio thing, and then we have the uh, Team Extron uh, boot animation right here. So as you can tell, pretty cool um, animation that they've done here, just had a little flair to the ROM. Uh, so again, this is a uh, Exron shooter, um, this is RSL4, um, uh, again, built by Team Exron. Uh, so so uh, definitely check it out if you haven't haven't yet or want, just want to try a new ROM. Again, this is Brent with the droiddemos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.